What's up, y'all? Straight from Holy Culture. Back at the mic. Drop the movie premiere. A few hours before go time, and I'm in the house with the original Gospel Gangsters. Cracking with it, man. Chili and Rare Breed. What's, what's going on? What's poppin' like, well, y'all, like, y'all ready? What's, yeah, what's, what's up? Find out. Like, it's only a couple hours from now, yeah, so. Yeah, we been drinking. been a long day rehearsing everything, but we're going to shake it off, I come mean, back, and give them, what, you yeah. know, give them what the father told us to. I mean, you totally throw me off playing some new music right before we start. You know that. Oh, man, I was just, you know. Brainstorming. Brainstorming. Okay. Brainstorming. All right. Shaking, man. So, I mean, people know about the gospel gangsters, man, but just for those who may not know, which would be unbelievable if anybody's watching this that don't know, how would you articulate, man, how the gospel gangsters got started? Well, the gospel gangsters got started first with Solo and Tick. Uh, TikTok was a blood. Solo and Crip. I'm a Crip. Uh, Solo got born again. Then TikTok got born again. Then Solo came and got me. So I was the last guy to come in. Yeah. Um, and it was just simple, man, when the we was we was, you know, we was them real ones, man, that really come in your house and do stuff to you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was it was it wasn't a fake story or no fake storyline about us or nothing. And, and when we got born again, man, we just took that same street mentality, that same roughness, that same toughness, bro. And just and and just flipped it and did it for the father. So, cause we felt like if if I'm hard enough to pull out that gun and put it to your head until you break yourself, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to the devil, I gotta act the same way. Yeah. I can't. He didn't cut me no slack, so I can't cut the devil no slack. You feel me? So, you know, and that's how it was for the gospel gangsters, man. When we got born again, we all came in in a section. Even like, it was crazy, cause. Uh, TikTok told this story when we first got born again because TikTok was a blood we didn't get along because mm. I was the last one to come in mm -hmm. I told you I was a little rough around the edges you feel me so when I first came in TikTok and Solo was really cool I wasn't yeah and I used to tell I sit next to TikTok in church and I scoot over because <laughs> I used to tell Solo nah homie from the other side I can't yeah. do that I can't but you know, mm. and the father broke those barriers down too. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, to where me and TikTok, we we wound up having a real good relationship. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you know, the father can do anything, man. No doubt. And you know, so and if you if you game banging out there right now, selling dope or anything, bro, it, it ain't over for you, man. All the times, like I was just telling somebody else, like you know, like Pac said, you know, you can tell everybody else whatever you want, but you and I know what's going on. Yeah. So at the end of the day. No matter if you're a game banger, sell dope, whatever, bro. When you lay down by yourself at night, bro, it's just you and God. No you can lie to everybody all day, but when you lay down by yourself, it's, it's just you and the Father, bro. Yeah. So, you know, and that's how we take it. We always just want to be on the up and up with the Father, bro. Yeah. Always humble, you know what I'm saying? So, for us to be even here right now, this mic drop, yeah. man, is just ridiculous. So, when you walked in last night, man, I felt, you know, every time someone walked in, the energy was just... Everyone had to get up from their plate and just just embrace each other. You know what I'm saying? And man, we didn't been through a lot of wars. Yeah, together. you know what I mean. Yeah, spiritual warfare, real. Like, and with all them dudes that's here, PID, DOC. I mean, Soup. All of these dudes, I done been to war with all these dudes. I yeah. mean, we didn't we didn't been in spiritual warfare together. We didn't been on the road together. Yeah. So for me to walk into a place and see all of them at one time. Bro, I was like a kid in the candy store. That's what store. you look like, exactly. I didn't even want to leave the place. I was like, oh my God, I can sit and talk to him forever, him forever, him forever. Because we all got relationships together and then yeah. we all got separate relationships together. Like, yeah. you know, like with the dynamic twins, me and Noel, we got our own thing. You know, me and his brother, we got our own thing. But the both of them, we got our own thing. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. for me, it was it was really overwhelming and, and heartfelt man to see all these dudes and to see them still rocking and to see them still praising the father and you yeah. know doing things that they learned from the father and been taught for so many years yeah. you know what i mean and it was it was it was good for me to see also that i felt like mike dropped like all the dudes that i looked up to and i've been mentioning with like d yeah. You get what yeah. I'm saying? If, yeah. if it makes any yes. sense. Totally. Like, I felt like, not totally. even for myself. Totally. It felt like, for me, like, soup, finally getting this just dude. Mike Peace, finally get, like, the world will finally, like, they will finally know who's the original people that 
yeah. started this. Yeah. You know, these young dudes out here that that um, say they do gospel hip hop and don't really know mm. who started it, don't really know who grind for it, don't really know when it didn't have any computers and you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. and all of that. That we was out here when when Bill wasn't even thinking about a IP. You know what I'm saying a yeah. PC. Yeah. We was out here in these churches and these streets grinding. Yeah. You know what I mean. So for me, it felt like I I, I felt really good, man, to know that. Um, the CHH community and all the young dudes were really, really can be able to look at the faces of these people that have been grinding all these years to make this genre what it is today. Yeah. And for them to be able to go do shows freely today and for people to come do shows and pay to see them yeah. and all of that. When I look back at Soup and them and all of that, I remember when Soup took us on tour. We was laughing about that earlier because when he first took us on tour, I couldn't go. It was like he was like, all right. Y'all ready? But I can only take one. I can't take both of y'all. <laughs> and I said, all right, Solo, you go. You the leader, homie, you go. Yeah. Just tell me how, how bombing is when you get back. So you know yeah. what I mean? So for me to see all these dudes, man, get the love they get, bro, I just felt like they finally getting that justice. Yeah. I'm happy to see you, man. And, um, you know, I feel we'd be remiss not to just... Um, Speak on Mr. Solo, man. God rest his soul, man. That's um, the goat, man. They hit me hard, bro. When, when I mean, I, you know, I'm from the East Coast, from Philly. Right, right, and so right. a lot of times, you know, we didn't listen to a lot of West Coast music. Right, right. Y'all were the first group I heard from the West. It was Operation Liquidation. I, I will never that forget that CD, joint. bro. Boom, doom, 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 doom. You know what? Crazy that Solo asked me to be on that. Is that right? And he had, I told him no. CD was a life changer, bro. And when, like, uh, Mr. Solo would say, like, uh, never been average, learn game from a savage, right? And then go through the rest of that verse, though, about how the Lord changed his life and how he's using it, just like you said on the other side. But God rest his soul, man. How's it, how are you continuing to, because I think there's a lesson for everyone in this, man. You've continued, and you both continue to press on, man, and continue to represent the gospel gangsters. And TikTok obviously is not with the crew because of the circumstances. Right, right. How have you pressed forward like that, man? Man, let me tell you something. I'm from California, man. We got tough skin. Man. Yeah. We grow up tough. That's how we grow up. And and for one, me and Solo, we done had, you know, you always have talks about death. You know what I mean? So we done had talks about death, me and him, many a times. Something happened to me, something happened. Something happened to both of us, you know. We got to press on, bro. I know I know what my bro will want. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying? My bro yeah. will not want me to sit down. He would, it's no way that he would be like, Chili, God got all that inside you, bro. And because I passed, bro, he take me, you going, nah. And and I've, you know, like yeah. everybody, I've, I've sit day after day and be like, God, why? I mean, the homie had a six pack. I'm fat. You know what I'm saying? On the real, like. Yeah. Everything go through your mind. Like, mm. why you take my homie? You didn't take me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And then the father said, well, okay. What you going to do with the rest of the time I done gave you? You feel me? It ain't about what I did with him. It's about what I'm finna do with you. So what you going to do? I done did what I'm going to do with him. Now I'm finna do what I'm going to do with you. Yeah. What you going to do? Yeah. And I know that the homie will want us to carry this mantle and yeah. keep pushing. Because his solo was a real goat, man. His heart was, was after the people. I mean, he would, I mean, we would go some places, bro, where Solo would minister all night, bro. I'm talking about we would start in the morning, and we wouldn't go back to the hotel at 1, 2 in the morning because we didn't wind up in a penitentiary somewhere, deep out somewhere at 10 at night, they mm-hmm. letting us in the pen yeah. to minister to somebody. You feel me? And we like, man, we tired, but Solo like, nah, bro, let's just go. And we wind up going. So he, he really had a heart for the people, man. And to know the, the heart of Solo, man, that's why... I keep pushing because I know what he would want. And I know if 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 I would have passed away, what he would have did. Mm. Because he know I would have wanted the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I we had talks about this before. So it, it it's just man moving on. Yeah. You know, taking campaign republic, bro, turning the page and moving on. And, yeah. and every where I go, every interview I do, every song I, I do, I know he'd be right with me, bro. Yeah, for sure. Right with me. So that's how I keep pushing on, man. Let Tough me, skin, huh? Yeah, no, I get it, bro. Let me um, let me close with this, man. You, you mentioned earlier about this this newer generation needing to know and understand and, and help this uh, the pioneers get theirs. What would your message be to this generation, man, who often says they don't know the pioneers and in some respect they missed the opportunity to get mentorship from this gener- from the pioneer generation, you know what right, I mean? Right. So I'm sure they would love 
advice from both of you, man. What would you say to them if they were looking up to you right now through the, through the camera lens and saying, yo, man, give, give me something, Gospel Gangsters. Give me a word of advice, I, man. I, I would tell them to be true to the Father and to be true to that craft and be true to that self. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, and work really, really hard. And, you know, and um, don't look to the left, don't look to the right. Just stay focused on whatever the Father got for you because whether he's got a whole generation of people for you. Just like he had a whole generation of people for us. Look at them doing what they do right now. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So from our generation to their generation to another generation, mm -hmm. the father got something for another generation. So they have to make sure that they on the up and up with the father so they can tell the next generation. Because one day they're going to be sitting on this same couch that I'm sitting on. Right. You feel me? Yeah. And they're going to be talking about, Will Cray, remember when you first started in 2000 or whenever you started and then you got these other dudes he grayed up. He sitting back, and then you got these other dudes right behind him. Like, yeah, I remember Lecrae. You feel me? So mm -hmm. they got something to speak to other generations just like we had to speak to them. Oh, so, you know, I would say to them, bro, somebody's waiting to hear what you have to say. Yeah. Somebody's waiting to hear from you. So keep your eyes focused on the Father, bro, and learn your homework. You know, oh, no. the oh, devil no. do his homework, you do yours. No. You feel me? And that's knowing PID, SFC, knowing where your roots are, knowing where everything stems from, knowing where it comes from. That's what's up. Anything you want to add to that, bro? Yeah. Um, just allow yourself to be found. Hmm. We lost. Everybody lost. You know, we, we, we lost in the midst of being found right now. You know, we lost trying to find our way without Mr. Solo, you know. Hmm. Um, we listen to the music so he can talk to us, you know. Um, this music that we had, is, it's like a Bible. It's not old, you know. Go back to do your research. Listen to the ministry. Listen to what we was delivered from to understand where you're going right now. Get your history in place because if you don't know where you came from, how you know where you're going. Mm. You you ain't reinventing the wheel. You're just, you're just adding yours to the wheel. So respect that. Be open for change. Be open for... for for wisdom, you know, mm -hmm. because if, if we at our age right now and, and we think we got it all figured out and we've been through a whole lot, then we're not, we not willing to elevate and, and, and be what we need to be in, in the kingdom. So just encourage everybody to just step in on faith and, and you know, some people in the, even in the ministry mm -hmm. got, got clouded minds for whatever reason. Sober your mind up. Allow the Father to really enter yeah. your mind. Yeah. Our youth right now is so caught up and they 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 not sober enough to hear what we we bringing them to the streets, but we still trying to tap in. We still trying to do what we got to do, and it takes more than one. It takes the older generation to push with the younger generation. We set out a lot of tables right now where our time is up right now. We need to sit back and be mentors to the ones that got the voice right now. The ones that's being pulled over, harassed, oppressed by the police. That's out on the streets right now. We need to figure out how to collect, collect collectively mm -hmm. do what we got to do to bring this this masses in unity so we can be empowered. Yeah. You know? Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Thank y'all, bro. One more thing. Yeah. All these ministries out here, stop clicking up, man, and stop all this bickering between mm. each other, man. Mm. You know what I'm saying? We in, we in one camp, man, and that's the Father's camp. So stop backbiting all these other ministries, man. Get together. Go save some souls, man. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Come to the table, break some bread. You know, you got out against your brother, man. Go holler at him, man. Mm -hmm. All of this, all of these churches bickering with each other, man, that's crazy. How we gonna go help the father do his work and help him get the masses in, bro, if we bickering in and between each other. So that's one thing I wanna say to all these hey. ministries out here, all these young ministries out here that's doing their thing right now, whether they doing it at a big scale or a small scale, stop hating on the ministry down the street. The Father got everybody that's on their own path to do what he have them to do. Amen. Just like he got you, just like he got Bree, just like he got us together, him separately, you separately. So I can't hate on your ministry. If I don't like something that you doing, maybe that's not for me to like. That's God with him and his ministry, or God with her and her ministry, or them with their ministry. Don't backbite on nobody else's ministry or put them down, bro. That's a lot of stuff that goes on with the, you know, CHH and all of this stuff, bro. We should calm that down, bro. Learn how to love each other. Mm. Come lean to the day. The yeah. Lean, yeah, lean on the word you say you're standing on. Come to your brother and talk to him. Yes, sir. It should be like that. It should never be to where we go out somewhere and we, you know, 
we departed. We separated from each other, but we say we together. I don't, yeah. I don't dig that. That's a good word. So, you know, I would tell all these young ministries out here, man, stop backbiting the next dude. Just focus on what the father got you doing. Yeah. You know, you know, like when he said, uh, spit, spit, put it on your eye, you're going to be able to see. It. Sound crazy, but that was, that was for him. Mm -hmm. That wasn't for the next person. So it might sound crazy to you, but only to you. Yeah. So I say, man, do what the Father say, do. Stay focused, man. That's good. Shitty yeah. baby, God's for Appreciate y'all, man. Thank you so much. I know it's been a long day, brother. Appreciate y'all. Y'all heard it right here. Holy Culture, Mike Drop movie premiere. Original Gospel Gangsters. Until next time, y'all. God bless.